morning. The date is the 24th of March and following last night's announcement, due to the increasing spread of the coronavirus in the United Kingdom, the British government has declared a nationwide lockdown. All citizens have been instructed to stay at home and not to interact with anyone outside of their household. With food shopping being one of the only exceptions for leaving home, supermarkets are already struggling under increased demand and panic buying. It is recommended that all households stock up on food as soon as possible and to not waste non-perishable foodstuffs. In other news, this morning a dog stared at an onion but did not eat it. More to follow on that story later. Yeah. No!
You do realise you've stuck the rent up by a third. six weeks since the UK lockdown and at this time reports are flooding in of people across the country struggling with their mental health in isolation. I've, I've just been stuck indoors and it's been oh it's been so long all, all the days are they're just blurring into one man and I haven't seen any of my friends any of my friends and I've, I've got a lot of friends <laughs> yeah all my friends are like oh where's Paul where's where's Polly, life of the party, Polly boy, I'm here. That's where I am. I'm here. I'm just on my own. And all I've got, I've got nothing. All I've got now is time. You know, I've, I've been doing okay. You know, the lockdown's actually been pretty good for me. I've actually taken a liking to doing makeup. Um, I know I'm not going anywhere, but you know. Hell's waiting for me after the apocalypse. Lockdown really got to me. Just been arguing so much with the wife. She's giving me the silent treatment now. Probably because I invented her. Oh, lockdown. You know, it's rubbish, isn't it? You just sit here. There are only so many episodes of flipping Red Dwarf that you can actually watch, aren't there? I don't know what to do. Um, I've spent most of my time actually learning how to try and um, fart the theme from the arches. Sorry, uh, what does lockdown mean to me? Well, you know, we're, we're all trying to stay positive. Um, me and my flatmate, we're, 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 you know, we're all trying new things. Um, I, I've, I've learned I'm trying new French stuff and my mum... Uh, my, my flatmate's taking up the bagpipes. While many people are still struggling, help and support has been found on social media. Increasingly, a number of YouTube and Instagram influencers have been posting videos giving advice and guides for how to maintain good mental health while in isolation. Hey, what's up YouTube? D-Babes here, giving you my three top tips on how to deal with the coronavirus from a brand new studio. I know it's low key. Uh, if you're new here, don't forget to like and subscribe and you've, you've already subscribed, then love you. So here's my um, top three tips. One, two, three for coping with the lockdown. Number one is to not think about the lockdown, all right? You don't want to be getting all these depressing, oh, I'm stuck inside, I don't know what to do. Is there a lockdown? I don't know. I feel kind of all right now. I might have a glass of wine. How exciting is that? Okay, my second tip is uh, go on as many dating websites as you can, all right? Because your self-confidence can start to, like, drop a little bit during lockdown. So if you get like loads of matchups, loads of like total fit girls and fit guys, and that's gonna be fabulous because you're gonna feel so confident and so beautiful. And you're like, I even, even need to go outside anymore to validate myself. I just feel so humble. And um, the third tip I'd say is that uh, 
make sure you're eating all the time. Like just eat constantly. I've been doing it and I feel absolutely amazing. I don't even have time to think about the virus because I'm just staffing my face full of food. Bye guys. In other news, we have developments on the dog and onion story. The dog now the onion times.
Good evening. The date is the 13th of June and this evening the British government has announced that it is now safe for people to form social bubbles. From today, single person households are allowed to meet and stay over with another household. This is the first time since lockdown began that people are able to meet and stay indoors. Many people believe that this is further evidence to suggest that the UK lockdown may finally be coming to an end. In a more upsetting update, we can now confirm that the dog was in fact not a dog, but a very hairy child. Mm. And the onion was in fact not an onion, but just a dead frog. Read it. Gavin. <laughs> Ticket, what is wrong with me? You could tell. 